I am here to give you some little tips for putting together your fresh fruit cards with the fresh fruit card kit. Um, this has been just a really fun set. I love fruit. I love the words in here. It's just kind of whimsical. Um, you can just do a lot of different things with it. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. I'm actually not going to do any stamping for you because these cards are all real self-explanatory. So with the first one, you're actually going to get a piece of the shimmer white cardstock. When I'm not doing much layering, I like to use either the heavy white or the shimmer white because it will give you a little bit more substance to it. Because as you know, our regular whisper white isn't quite as heavy as our our colored card stocks. So I just embossed the front with it. I use the brick wall. You can use whatever one, anything looks good when you're talking about embossing. It's just to put texture there. We have a piece of DSP. I stamp, no, sadly there's no thin lips or punches. I don't know about you, but I am extremely spoiled and sometimes I don't like cutting so much with the scissors, but it, it's not bad. You're not gonna do that much cutting here. So um, I cut out the flowers, I cut out the leaves. That one, these two are on dimensionals. Those are stuck down um, and they're in that super simple. Now we're using a lot of the fruit stand DSP in this card kit. Your pieces are gonna vary. Um, so it might be different than what I use, but no matter what pieces you get, they're all gonna look awesome. So, and that's why I really recommend the colors we used on this one because it coordinates with that paper. So there's the first one. The second one, I think we got a lot of layers going here, but again, you're just gonna stamp your fruit, cut them out. Um, I embossed this with softly falling embossing folder. Again, use what you have. This piece I did not pre-cut for you because if you wanna use different words on here, um, plus it's pretty tight to cut. So I would say just stamp on your scrap paper and cut out your little banner and put it together. Um, this one, I kind of threw in a fun fold here. It opens up like so. Now a couple of things different you'll notice are when you when it's completely closed like this, it almost looks like our card base should be black, but it's not. We just have a quarter sheet of black on the back. And so our white was, which is what I would call more our card base, um, is cut down a little bit so it fits on there. Now I am a quick and easy stamper. I don't like to measure. So what I did when I had this piece, big piece of white, I folded it in half like I always did. And then I just took the front and I back folded it right up to the fold line there and it fit. Now I do have scoring um, dimensions on your instruction sheet. So if you're one that has likes, would rather score and score to make it perfect, go ahead and do that. Um, piece of DSP here we just stamped on the inside stamp your layer to go on it um, as silly as it sounds when you go to adhere this layer on there make sure you only have adhesive on one side now I know that sounds silly but I've done it this is all from experience um, if, if you lay it down and you put adhesive and it's too far over here you slap it on there and then your card won't open because you'll have adhesive sticking out there so that is card three now card four um, is actually my favorite. I made up four different ones for you just using different paper and different fruit. And like I said, you're, you're all going to get different pieces of the DSP in yours, but look at how cute they are. You can use any fruit, any whatever, but they're all made the same. But the biggest thing, and I've been doing this a lot with different papers, this just makes a super easy card, is you take your piece of DSP, which is three and three quarters by four and a quarter. Make sure you have your three and three quarters and four and a quarter going down this way. And I have little diagrams in your instructions, but you can measure down, I think that was a inch and a half, I don't have it in front of me, and an inch up, and then you're just gonna cut. Now, again, because I don't like to measure, if, if you like to measure, and I did it on this blue so you can see my tick lines better than if I was doing it on the DSP, you can make your tick lines and then you can put it in your cutter and just line those up like so and cut, and there you go. Now, me doing this would not put tick lines and we just put it at an angle and cut and it doesn't matter. See, we're off a little bit, but I, I, don't, I wouldn't even say you're off because it really doesn't matter. And then once you have your two pieces, you're going to just go ahead and they're gonna be adhered on like so. Now, just a little tip, 
Okay, we're gonna stamp our words there. I always say, do not adhere things down until you've done your stamping because you can always flip your cardstock over if you goof. But we need to know where that is. So what I did is I put my bottom piece down. I didn't adhere it, okay? I just held it there. And actually, if you wanted to, you could put your top one there too. Don't adhere them and go ahead and stamp your words. Now, if, if it doesn't stamp really good, Voila, we got another side. We can flip it over and we can do it again and the second time's the charm. So all of these you'll see, you'll get a half a doily to stick under there. Stamp and cut out some fruit. They're all popped up with the dimensionals. A little bit of linen thread there just to kind of wrap around and stick in there. And those are your cards. So I hope you enjoy this card kit. It's a lot of fun. It's just fresh and fun and summery. Um, can be any occasion, could be for guys, could be for girls, could be for young or old. So have fun. Any questions at all, make sure you ask. I'm here to help you. Um, otherwise, I hope to share a lot more fun ideas with you using the Fresh Fruit set in the future. Have a great creative day.